Check out the power plant. So don't be a stranger. Let me give you a tour of the plant. Oh, it is beautiful, isn't it? 18 coupons already. Woo! So on the right, as you enter, this is the product area. And if I set everything up right, I should be able to just flip the switch and we're going to be generating. Well, hello gamers. I've missed all your shining faces. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Uh, it's probably been uh, a little bit longer because I'm about to go on vacation. No, not from YouTube, from my actual job. So this video might be delayed by about a week, but what's important is that I'm gonna get this power plant up and running and nobody's gonna stop me, not even my mom, not even your dad, because gosh darn it, this very cubed, uh, I know dimensions, square, rectangular shaped factory will be up and running. Now look at my new little toy that I've got. Tall pipeline connector. This will allow me to connect the oil. The oil to the refineries. What matters is wheelie. I believe that's how the French say oil. As an American, the way we say oil is a cha ching. Yeah, that's right. I'm an American. I bet you could have never told. Only an American could have an IQ as high as me. I'm going to be honest, I never really used this feature, uh, the to-do list, and I might be a dumbass for that specific reason and other reasons. But right now I'm just talking about that reason. Anyway, my wife's boyfriend really needs to use the computer, so I need to get this done like ASAP. Anyone else really love the music in Satisfactory when it goes like You know? Wait, don't click away. No. Ah, the music of the angels. Holy shit. I am in heaven. Man, does anyone else wish that there was like a tape measure in this game or something? I feel like there's no way to really easily accurately measure distances. Damn son, look at this pipeline. You know, this is starting to shape up. Oh, I gotta color it. You know what they call this boys? Infra. Wait for it. Structure. Whoa! Oh, I feel like a right goddamn plumber, I do. Don't I? Oh, I don't have copper sheets. Dude, I gotta hook everything up too. All right, this might be a little more of a job than I thought, but if uh, if I stop recording and suddenly I skip forward into a bunch of progress, you know what happened. I just basically shut my brain off and entered gamer mode and... Oh, it's a me. I'm a fucking a plumber for once. I'm not saving the princess. The princess is out to get in a fucked by Bowser. And I have to do the plumbing today. Luigi, why don't you fucking help me? Oh, Mario. Wahoo! Yippee! Oof! Oh, God. This is definitely the biggest thing I've ever built in this world so far. Uh, I'm learning a thing or... Ugh, gotta curm it in my throat. I'm learning a thing or two about big ass projects, I think. You ever think about how economical chickens are? Like, you just get a couple chickens and they just keep pooping out eggs. Like, you don't even have to do anything except feed them. Keep them in a little hut in your backyard. And it's like every freaking day on the clock in the morning, bam, pooped out an egg. You guys know that chickens don't actually have buttholes. They have what's known as a cloaca. It's a little industry term for you. Throw around the biz. Well, hello again, gamers. Guess who stayed up late last night building this factory? That's right, it's this boy. 
Check out the power plant. So, don't be a stranger. Let me give you a tour of the plant. So, here I am in the parking lot. Got a couple of different options. They're not actually parked yet. But, I'll go ahead and slam this boy into his space for him. So, yeah, I've been hard at work at the factory, which I have named the Saddus. Get it? It's the Saddus factory. <laughs> But right here, first and foremost, let me give you a little overview of the facility. So, a jetpack up here, you can see refineries, blenders, water extractors. Here's a control room, observation tower, and there's all the generators. And I ran out of fuel. Oh, saved it. So, let's take a look into the control room, shall we? Walk right past the little parking lot I've got here. So, just over here is the control room. And if I set everything up right, I should be able to just flip the switch and we're going to be generating. But <laughs> we're going to test it today. I, I really wanted to test it out yesterday when I finished construction, but I knew I had to save it for recording because uh, who knows what's going to happen. Maybe it won't work at all. But I made this little diagram on the wall here to explain what's going on at the power plant. So we got 300 crude oil per minute. That's going to our refineries. Those are making 400 heavy oil residue. And uh, the resin is basically just a byproduct. Disposing of that right now. The oil residue combines with the water, quite a lot of water, in blenders, which then make a thousand fuel per minute. Yeah, we're talking big numbers now, baby. This is the biggest project I've ever done. We got 40 generators giving us 10 gigawatts. That is the Satis Power Plant commencing operation today in February 2024. Are you ready gamers? Let's see what happens, shall we? All right, check that out. The consumption and the max consumption just spiked the second I turned it on. It's going to be a, a slight delay before we're producing any power, I imagine. So why don't I go ahead and climb up into this observation deck and see if we can see anything. Well, the good news is that the lights turned on, as you can see. The factory lights are on, except for this one. I don't know how I fucked that up. All right, so first issue, I didn't finish hooking up this power, I guess. Uh, that would I would explain it. So some of these refineries weren't even hooked up. And I think that power also went to the oil oil extractor. So now it should actually be running. <laughs> uh, it's always a little bit of diagnosis, isn't it? So as you can see, this crude oil node is fully maxed out, overcharged, and we're getting 300 meters cubed per minute. So that's what I'm using. I'm using every last bit of it for this factory. And there you go, pipes are starting to wiggle. I guess I can go ahead and give you a little tour. Walk through how this works. I already showed you the diagram, but let's show you how it actually works in the factory. So 300 meters cubed of crude oil is injected into this refinery line. Oh, they're starting up. All right, so uh, maybe they're not actually running. I think we need another pump. <laughs> I figured there would be some issues. Okay. Let's hook up a pump right here and see if that works. There, now they're online. We got green lights in the refinery area. As I was saying, crude oil comes into the refineries. The product of these refineries is our residue. Heavy oil residue is in the purple pipe and the polymer resin, which is already flowing now, just gets sunk. So, this heavy oil residue comes over to the blenders. Oh, I don't need these signs anymore. That was a little note for myself. Over here at the blenders, we also got two water pipes. The two water pipes go into the blenders right there. Up top, heavy oil residue goes in there. And uh, here's the water extractors. You can see the pipe work. It looks pretty decent, I think. And uh, yeah, they're just kind of right here because I built this over the ocean, so... Why not? I might decorate this a little bit more, you know. 
Anyway, these rows of blenders are all down here and they should be making the fuel. Ha 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 ha. Looks like somebody slacked in their plumbing job and it might have been me. These refineries weren't fully hooked up, were they? Oh, I'm just finding all kinds of mistakes, aren't I? I was really naively hoping that this would just function the second I turned it on. Alright, so it looks like the blenders are indeed turning on. We got some green lights. They're just turning yellow because uh, it needs some time to stabilize. Once these blenders are all done blending fuel, that fuel comes out the side here in these little orange pipes. That's pumped over here and uh, gets ready to be sent into the fuel generator run. Sit into the 40 fuel generators. So there's two large industrial buffers and I'm hoping that they're going to sort of balance the output here. That's what the purpose of these this little junction here in the valves. And these pipes are going to ride out over this framework. One of them is going to go to this 20 rows of generators and this one goes to the other 20 rows of generators, which are mostly overclocked. Um, if I did the math right, then when everything stabilizes, all of them should be running, I believe. Uh, yeah, this one's already running. I'm getting actually some frame drops because of <laughs> how uh, how much mu this is calculating right now. So that means the fuel generators are turning on. I see three, four of them on. Let's go check our power output and watch it grow. And 10 gigawatts will triple our power output that we used to have. We only had five gigawatts. Oh yeah, it's starting to rise. We're uh, we're still stabilizing. I feel like we should be producing more than this, but I'm holding out hope. It's just stabilizing. I mean, like, what are the chances I made any more mistakes in a factory this size, right? Let's drive around and take a look. Oh shit, what's going on here? Are they not hooked up to power? No power. Oh, they just need fuel. Okay. Ah, uh, well, there's your problem. A bad plumbing job. Okay, now they're turning on. See, I just needed to take a little drive, figure out what the problem was. And I have to admit, this is by far the most pleasing thing I've ever built in this game. I've been working on it for days. I know that it's kind of like, you know, in the grand scale of satisfactory builds that other people make, it's uh, probably not the biggest, but hey, for me, it, it's, it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and park this and go check on the energy again. All right, back in the control room. I don't know how I fit in that thing. Oh yeah, it's going up again. Let's go check on this blender since it's right here next to the control room. How are you operating? Okay. Um, we might be backed up with fuel. Did I forget Mark II pipes somewhere or something? Alright, we got another issue with the pipeline. This time it's a water pipe. I'm not sure what the issue is, but this appears to not be pumping. Or uh, the water is backed up somehow. I mean, if I need to add another pump, I need to add another pump. So I just slammed one down and that seemed to resolve it. So I think all blenders should be functioning and that will also increase the power output. I feel like pumps are a little finicky. Like, I don't feel like there was actually anything wrong with my pumps. I just had to like place them in a slightly different way. I don't know, unless I'm just not getting it. But that should pump the fuel now. Yeah, okay. Because this one's flowing at max capacity right now. And we're producing 800 fuel per minute, so this literally just couldn't withstand the amount of fuel we, we were producing anyway, so the fact that this wasn't pumping... Okay, here we go. So now we should be having enough fuel in here, and it should balance between these two pipes. 
Well, it is beautiful, isn't it? The sun in the distance. It still surprises me that I'm getting like frame drops as I walk around this factory, but I don't know if it should surprise me. Maybe when everything stabilizes. Okay, sweet. Even these generators out here. Okay, this one's not on, but maybe it will be soon. Well, they're starting to turn on and off. Okay, oh, yes. Oh, look at that. The flow rate's increasing. Things are looking pretty good from the observation deck. Looks like most of the generators are running most of the time. Let's verify that. Ah, autosave. Oh, wow. It actually is getting pretty stable. Um, it might not, it might be more like nine gigawatts than 10, but you know what? That's pretty good. I mean, we were down here, like below this blue line before, so we've basically more than doubled, like I said. Which I would call a job well done. All in a day's work. Well, several days work. And this is exactly the kind of infrastructure that we need to like get some shit going. You know what I mean? Some crazy wacky factory shit going. Power is no longer a limiting factor for now. Well, gamers, it may have appeared to have been a mere moment for you, but it actually has been probably about 12 days. Why did the slugs just flash out of existence? 12 days since my last satisfactory recording, so I feel a little bit out of practice, but let's get back into the groove of things, shall we? To recap what I've accomplished so far in this episode, the fuel generator setup over here for this power plant is all up and running beautifully, consistently. In fact, I, I don't think I actually recorded the part where all my energy fully stabilized. Let me show you how it looks. Now here, as you can see on my power grid, we are producing a very clean, stable line here. No fluctuations. And it is more than double the max consumption. Which is beautiful for now so that is the saddest factory over here aptly named anyway let me grab one of these explorers from the old parking lot and let's let's take a tour let me show you some of the other things i've built uh because i have been playing a little bit i just haven't been recording it the next major project i have planned you may notice this building is a little bit taller i want to go ahead and uh, refurbish this whole iron works building and make that more highly efficient. So what I've done here is I've cut off all the inputs. I'm just gonna let all the machines bleed out, flush as I call it. And uh, yeah, this place is gonna undergo some renovation. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, we're still producing, so there's still like a lot of uh, iron ore and a lot of iron ingots in the system. So if I were to dismantle everything now, it would just be a big pain. So that's why I'm flushing everything out of the system. All right, first up on my little tour, I've been accumulating so much alien protein that uh, I made a little alien DNA factory here and it's going to automatically sort each protein out for you so you don't have to do that. Shit, I just realized I had the game audio muted. Sorry about that. As I was saying, this is the little alien data factory. So in this storage container, you can chuck in all of your alien remains. Here I've got hog remains, plasma spitter, hatcher, and stingers, so all the varieties here are represented. Let me just chuck all of these in here, because why not? Why not? As the kids say, you only live once. Anyway, all this DNA, oh, that looks fucking, <laughs> that looks vile, doesn't it? It's, it's sorted out using programmable splitters. Here you can see hog goes in that one. Obviously the, the stinger went in there. And wow, that is a lot, a lot of hog DNA. Uh, in fact, the system might be backed up with that for a little while, but you can see the alien data is already being produced here. Just coming right out here and you can grab it right at the end of this conveyor belt. This building is also primarily made of glass, so you get a nice view of it if you want. You can see the 
It's making protein. Protein goes here, gets turned into DNA. DNA gets shipped out. It's pretty simple and easy. So while that's going, let me turn over here and show you this temporary little setup I've got going on. This is for packaged liquid biofuel. And all I need to throw in for ingredients for this is plastic into this crate right here. And then over here, I throw in my solid biofuel. So I've already got plastic here. Let me just grab some of my uh, solid biofuel here. Chuck that in and let's get this thing going. And there it goes. Now I really like this fuel. It produces less thrust than turbo fuel, but it lasts a lot longer. So as you can see, I can just hold my jetpack. Just keep holding it. So when you launch from a hyper cannon or whatever, you can just fucking hold your momentum for so long. Now, as you can see, they are getting sorted out. Plasma spitter goes in this one. And well, golly gee gamers, I have one cool little tiny little factory to show you left. Look at this boy. Right next to my little hub here, this is the power shard factory. Accepting all three types of power slugs. I've been out collecting power slugs, you see. Let's go ahead and test it out. I haven't actually tested this one. Throw in one of each power slug into this storage container here. And then wait. Something tells me I didn't do it right, which upsets me greatly. Um, what the fuck? Did the game just ate those power slugs? Like they didn't get turned into power shards. They also aren't in the machines or on the belts. Am I? Oh my fucking God. Here they are. Oh, I thought I was hallucinating guys. Whew. Thought that was it for me. Okay, gamers, I'm a dumbass. I admit it. I figured it out, though. I had this center output set to any instead of any undefined. Oh, my bad. Rookie mistake. Anyone could make it. All right, let's try this again. Yay. It works. <gasps> wow. I never realized power shards looked like that. They look pretty cool. Anyway, like I said, I've been collecting the fuck out of these little power slugs. Uh, this may look like a lot of them, but let me go ahead and show you this chest over here. Oh, I got more of them. So in the name of using the factories that I have, let me throw at least some of them in here. I mean, I don't even need the power shards right now, but I do love production. Tell you what would make this even better. Let's make this a Mark one. All right, we got a Mark I for dramatic effect. It looks great. Now you can really see those power shards coming in. And it feels like more because they're coming in slower. Dude, that bundle of slugs just keeps giving. That's a lot of shards. Okay. Oh, we're still producing DNA over here. We're not finished. Let's see how much protein is actually in here. Oh my God, it's overflowed with protein. So yeah, gamers, that's the status. I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and re refurbish this ironworks building. Earns earned iron ironworks. Bronze earned iron ironworks. That's my I earned that urn. See, the joke is that uh, in the South of America, not South, not to be confused with South America, people have an accent that makes it sound like when they say iron, it sounds like iron. Of course, I've still been chucking some leaves and wood into the biomass building. It's still producing. Uh, why don't I actually grab more of this and, uh, uh... Let's make some liquid biofuel. I like it a little better than solid. I just feel like this is my new happy place. You know what I mean? Wait a second. Never mind. I thought that was a yellow light. I was about to fucking flip my shit. No, everything's running fine. Oh, look how zoomed you can get. I didn't even know you could do that. If you also find this factory pleasing, let me know in the comments below. If you hate it, also let me know in the comments below. I'll use it to fuel my next self-loathing episode. While I'm making overhauls to this facility, I'd like to make the center elevator a little bit nicer. It's kind of just crude at this point, you know what I mean? It's a little bit crude. 
It's a little bit crude in it. And this is why I built with blueprints. So simple, so easy. Although, we do have to destroy all these belts. But yeah, all these all these smelteries are all clear of ore now. Simple, easy. I can delete them all without flooding my inventory with crap. Probably shouldn't be filming this at night. Sorry if you can't see shit. Uh, okay, so I had all these buffer storage containers that were totally full, so that probably is why all my machines are still running. Oh, here's the upper layer of all the products going in. I haven't checked on this in a while. Uh, still lots of stuff being produced. I can go ahead and take care of these smelteries as well. Bye bye and bye bye. Yeah, I knew it was bad in here, but I didn't realize just how dire this shit needed like a glow up. I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, I think I'm totally clear on this floor. Can go ahead and deconstruct all these constructors, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, to deconstruct the constructor. It is a metaphor for the life. Ah, uh, go lagoon. All right, the floor above. I think this is the fourth floor. Oh, God, I really should have labeled them. Yeah, this place is a mess. Uh, anyway, this place is making screws, and as you can see, it's still very active. I think I need to give that a little bit of time still. Yeah, so that little nugget of power slugs gave me, uh, like 90 power shards. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, my God, it's still running. Uh, and we have... Over 200 alien DNA, jeez. So I've accumulated quite a lot of this alien DNA. I thought it would be fun to just, you know, celebrate the life of all these alien critters with one last shebang. One big hullabaloo as we throw them all into the sink and let them be grinded up for tickets. Little Chuck E. Cheese coupons. All right, let's get started, shall we? And go! Yes! <laughs> oh, it is a thing of beauty. Let's check how many uh, points per minute that's counting as. Oh my god, it is rising. 18 coupons already? Oh, I'm leaning back in my chair. I lost my headphones because I'm getting so many points. Oh, that was all. But damn, that was awesome. Is this thing still not updated? It still says zero per minute. Oh, there it goes. That's a lot more than uh, 453,000 per minute. Nice. That's not bad. Let me go ahead and print my coupons. Add them to the collection. Why not? As you can see, I'm collecting quite a lot of knickknacks. I've got a ton of power shards, I've got some hard drives, coupons. Let's see. I mean, that that's about all. But, you know, it's cool stuff. Actually, let me throw a hard drive in this thing and start studying. Oh, I just remembered. One more thing I want to do in this episode while I'm also working on the ironworks. That's right, gamers, it's happening. You see it in the corner of the screen right there. Nuclear power. I have another satisfactory confession to make. I've never successfully set up nuclear power. It's a very complicated process, but we're gonna do it, baby. It might take a year, it might take a day, it might take a month. We'll see. But we got all the resources for it, so let's launch, it. Let's launch that shit. Nuclear power obtained, thank you. I've actually been using the Satisfactory Planner tool uh, to plan out this new factory. Planning on using very precise numbers, one thanks to run 100% efficiency, that sort of thing, yada yada. Dude, I'm just now discovering mistakes I made in this factory. There's little fucking iron ingots in here clogging up these constructors. Oh, it's disgusting. Makes me sick to my stomach. Puh, I could spit on it. Oh my god, all these Mark 1 belts are driving me crazy, dude. Can you believe we used to live like this? Mark 1 belts. <laughs> oh my god, this is a fucking boomer meme, but do you guys remember Chuck Testa? 
There's no fucking way anyone remembers Chuck Testa. Look at that antelope driving a car. No, it's just Chuck Testa. I didn't even tell you guys about my little trip. I took a one week vacation. I went to Arizona where it is very dry. They have about 50 species of rattlesnake and maybe a thousand of cactus. Probably more, honestly. Really a wonderful place. I should just collect every single power slug in the game and then hoard them all and then all at once overcharge all of these machines and just let it fucking loose. Just power shard it the fuck up. Yeah, I've been using hyper tubes to get around. Basically, I can launch myself now using the biofuel jetpack all the way to the other side of the map and then I can launch myself back. Uh, I have two hyper tube launchers over here that have launched me all the way back home. Which is crazy, but uh, I can demonstrate. Honestly, I think I'm pretty close to unlocking all the alternate recipes too. I just got steamed copper plates. Just something I don't think I'll ever use, but you know what? I'll grab it just because. So here's what a departing flight looks like. And I've actually had the idea. I think I might make like something of an airport and also a train station, obviously. I know I haven't even touched trains. So that'll probably be next episode. Uh, trains will... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, it's just loading. It's just loading. I think my PC is a little unhappy or the game's unhappy. One or the other, but... Uh, what was I saying? Trains. Trains. Lots and lots of jets and planes. You'll love them. You'll hate them. Actually, you'll just love them, hopefully. So, as you can see, here I am. I have arrived at my destination. Uh, just a couple uh, FPS drops later. This is the desert, so I can search for whatever I need here. This is actually one of the starting points that you can choose at the beginning of the game, I believe. You get one too. And you. Alright, I'll harvest the specimen, you got me. Power slug, can't get enough of that power slug, power slug, power slug. Can't get enough of that power slug. Keeps me high all day. 70 megawatts? Fucking easy. Child's play. Get out of your stinky plant. Ooh, collateral damage. <laughs> okay, so you can place the biomass burners underwater. That just feels a little hazardous, but... Can we put the power pole? Yeah. The power pole can just sit in some water. You know, why not? There you go. Fastest fucking whatever 70 megawatts, however many wet megawatts you wanted. I really want to try to master this Nobelisk boost. Let's see if I can get that right. Ooh, that wasn't bad. Oh, okay, yeah, we're getting speed. Oh, okay, well, I made it to my destination, but I see it kind of works. I mean,. Uh... Uh, I'm not going to say that I'm the first person who's ever done that, but I've never seen that before. Okay, I don't need to put that much biofuel in there. Let's go ahead and... You know what I realized? Yeah, you can do the split stack. God, I'm such a dumbass. You can just enter just a couple. Anyway, I only need enough biofuel to provide me with the strength to launch one time. Woo! And here we go. And that's what... The trip back home looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, check out how that looks on the map here. You can see we're going a pretty nasty speed. And just like that, I've made it back to Spork's construction site, the main facilities. So yeah, I think honestly that's probably the fastest way to get around with the least infrastructure. And I'm glad that the developers actually accept that. <laughs> I think they're going to keep it in the game. It's really a wonderful thing. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just kind of harvesting the alien world. Sorry, I keep jumping back and forth between shit, but this is literally how my brain works. Uh, back to the ironworks. As you can see, I'm all backed up on screws here. It's a common problem in my life, being backed up on screws. Okay, well, fix it doesn't approve of being wasteful, so I'm just gonna sink all this shit that's uh, getting in the way. I can't carry. 
The destruction of countless screws takes takes a very, very long time. Alright, the jungle gym has been taken down. There was fucking conveyor belts everywhere, jeez. Uh, still freaking getting rid of these screws. I don't know where they're coming from. How are there so many? Oh, you know what? They're probably still being produced. I am a dummy. Guh huh? You sure are. You know what? There's a lot of lessons to be learned here. Don't make buffers if you're gonna make, uh, if you're gonna dismantle everything later. Or at least plan better. I don't know. Don't be a smooth brain like me. That's the lesson for today. And the fact that I, the fact that I'm still producing screws would in fact explain the infinite screw problem that I was experiencing. Tell you what. I'll go ahead and uh, stop recording now and next time I'll start recording, Ironworks will be beautiful and you will all love it, you will clap, you will cheer, you will suck me off, okay cut that part out. Ooh, infused uranium? Don't mind if I do. Well gamers, I've been hard at work at this Ironworks rework project, whatever you would want to call it. I'll put up a picture here of my production line that I've planned out, but I've finally done it, and I've done it perfectly, and I'm excited to give you all a little tour. Obviously I'm not completely done, I mean this building is, has a lot of potential and it has more room so I might do more in this building, but what I've done is I've incorporated that production line into this building. And every machine in here, I think it's about 108 or something machines, runs at 100% efficiency once everything's totally balanced out, of course. So the production line starts with 780 ore per minute. Uh, and that's merged right here, as you can see. We got a couple Mark II miners feeding all that. So as you walk in here, you'll see it's a lot nicer but it still bears the resemblance of the original building facade. Didn't get too creative or anything. But over here on the left is the control room. Oh, we got a bouncy back friend in here today. A wild bouncy back. Okay, sorry. Uh, control room. So over here we got power. This supplies power to the whole building as well as lights up the lights. So let's go ahead and flip the switch, shall we? All right. And over here, of course, we can customize the lights if we wish. That will change the color of the lights in the entire building too, not just in this room. So as you come out of the control room here, you can come around the back side of this central pillar and uh, I have a little bit of info here. This facility uses 780 iron ore, which makes 780 ingots. And these are the outputs here. We got 60 per minute iron plates, 56 per minute iron rods, 100 per minute screws, 24 reinforced iron plates, 20 rotors, and four modular frames. This whole machine, this whole building right now uses about six 0.6 gigawatts. So on the right as you enter this is the product area and uh, you can come right here and grab whatever we need. As you can see we are now also producing modular frames at the ironworks that wasn't being produced here before. All the products will be shipped straight down here and then this machine here sorts them out so that if we have any overflow problems ah, jump scare with the auto save. Oh. If we have any overflow problems, they'll go into this sink right here. And as you can see, I've opened up this wall here a little bit, added a roof. And this is sort of the, you know, the, the bay where we can receive all the products. I have a truck station here, so maybe I'll put a train station at some point as well. So I've added a central elevator here. And uh, well, the elevator was there before, but I've now improved it. So. As you go up, you're gonna go left or right to determine whether you're gonna go up the next floor or stay. If I hold right, I'll just land right there. And then if I hold left, I'll actually go into the next floor. You can see you can just ride that all the way up 
And uh, I have this little central shaft here, which leads straight down with a nice little cushion for you to land on. Uh, one last thing before I go up, uh, one other key central structure I built is this central staircase that also functions as the power lines. As you can see, these are the power lines carrying energy up the building all the way to the top. And up here there's a door. I'll show you this place later. So yeah, the quickest rundown I can give you, uh, here's the first floor. This is the smeltery and makes iron plates. And uh, here's the smeltery unit. Over here is iron plates, constructors. Up here on the second floor we got the iron rod constructors. There's two sets of them here. Floor three is screws. And we need a lot of them. You can see there's a little bit in here because I was test running these machines. Floor 4 is for rotors, and this is the beginning of floors that have a lot more space in them. Space that I could possibly use for something else, but here's the rotor manufacturer. Next floor is of course reinforced iron plates, and here they are. There's six total machines for that. And the next floor up is for the modular frames, and only two assemblers right now. And lots of space now. We can go up again, there's actually one more floor which is completely clear of any machines, which I will probably use for something else soon. Oh, I gotta fix that wire. Uh, I'll also do all a bunch of, you know, touch-ups, uh, make the roof look nicer, you know, that sort of thing. I'm not really done, but I've been working on this shit for days, man. I just figured I'd give you guys an update. So here's the elevator shaft. Let's go ahead and go back down. Let's turn this sucker on, shall we? It's the grand opening. So all I have to do to really turn it on is uh, start the input chain here. So as you can see, I've just deleted one section of the Mark V belt. And I can just hook that up. And the ore starts flowing. Look at her go. So yeah, the inputs are going in now up to the smelteries, and uh, if I want, I can go check out the outputs here. It's going to be a hot minute before they actually start flowing, but as you can see, oh look, actually we are getting iron rods already. Uh, I can just sit here on this catwalk and monitor all the outputs. Oh look, we're already getting reinforced iron plates too. That's wonderful. Oh my god. It's only been a few minutes. This is not maxed out production, but we're definitely uh, making. Only thing we're not producing now is screws in the center belt there, but that takes a little while to ramp up because the other machines have to fill up first. But it'll be there in a minute. I've been sitting here waiting for a hot minute, but it appears things are up and running pretty smoothly. So as I mentioned earlier, Every machine in this factory runs at 100% efficiency. Oh, here come the modular frames. You can see, uh, producing quite a lot of rotors and reinforced plates over there. Here you can see the smelteries running. They're all running at 100% right now, I believe. Let's check the last in the line. Yep. Receiving just enough ore to remain at a hundred percent. Okay, so iron rods are still ramping up So yeah, this this part of the factory takes quite a lot of time. I yeah, we'll come back next episode and check it all out But I feel like pretty proud of this factory. I feel like I get better and learn a little bit every single time and way there in the distance you can see the, the power I didn't mean to take out my gun. You can see the little power plant that is fueling all of this. The Satis plant, which I also accomplished this episode. So yeah, it's been a pretty big one. So I think I will sign off there. And uh, 
I wanted to thank you all again for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Uh, hope you enjoy, and if you have any ideas, please do leave them in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Peace! Ah, Chuck Testa.